Your favorite morning home show. The banana eating slow or Loris acting. Canadian bald eagle flying. One and only. Hashtag. Adam Jobs. Hello everyone. We're here. Live. Live on the Periscope feed, recording on another device, although they constantly will try to make my live feed garbled, them, the gremlins, and uh, I record anyway on the other device and upload it to the uh, white shoe boy tube. Here I am, Morning Banana, number 55. This is the 55th banana we've had together, and you know, I do have a banana usually every morning, at least Monday to Friday, because it's a portable on-the-go snack. Today I wanted to talk real quick about uh, my three-hole compost system at home, by request. So at home, uh, you know, we're vegans, the four of us, me, Desiree, and the two kids, we're all vegans, so... <clears throat> Things like this, the banana peel. Where does it go? So, what I've done is in the backyard, I made a three hole compost system. So, one hole about this wide and dug down about, I don't know, two feet with a shovel. And uh, so, there's three of them and they're all beside each other. One's a little bit more spaced out than the other one, but. So one hole here, one hole there, one hole there, and it's in the far back of my yard. Uh, maybe later I'll add some photos to this thread on Twitter if um, if you're following on Twitter. But uh, so I fill one with compost, and when it gets to the top and it's full, then I fill the other one, obviously. And then when the third one is full, all the way to the top, I go back to the first one dig it out and I use it for fertilizer in my yard. By the time the third one's full, the first one is usually has been turned into some sort of sludgy compost soil. And you can add soil to it. At first I used to keep a pile of soil in the middle and I would mix it. A little bit of soil, a little bit of compost, and you can do that too. But what I found over time was, I mean it's all mixing together in my garden anyway, so um, it works either way. It's a little on the wet side um, if you don't mix it with soil, but ultimately it's going in the soil anyway, so what does it really matter? That's my three-hole compost system. Nobody really showed me how to do that. It's just something that I instinctually wanted to do, and I did. Things have been crazy lately. You know, the fact that I'm even sitting here um, being able to do a morning banana show number 55 to me is nice because we've been so busy lately that um, I'm surprised it's even able to happen. I was doing a month-long renovation and upgrade construction project that I was able to pull out of uh, yesterday. And it's just at the point where... I, I'm saying, <clears throat> I'm saying, you know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help you hang a clock, you know. <laughs> so it's at that point where, you know, I think, I think we're good. You can hang, you can hang a clock yourself. So, but uh, major, major renovation. There was a basement, basically a, a, a finished basement, but it didn't have, and there was one like satellite room 
whatever you want to call it, like a guest suite, but it didn't have a closet and it didn't have a bathroom. So, it now has a bathroom and it now has a walk-in closet with IKEA um, cabinets in it. And uh, the last thing that's going to be done is one of the contractors is going to bring in the custom-made glass for the shower. But until then, they can use a, a rod, like a spring-loaded rod, and it'll, it'll work. Everything is functional. And so that's one thing. The other thing, as many of you know that I've been up to, is uh, the Restaurant 4 thing. <sighs> so Restaurant 4 is in Brantford. And... Uh, I've been tasked with uh, a few things there. One of them is making making it paint ready with fire rated drywall. So um, I have to buy two different types of drywall. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be the five eighths on a partition wall, and then on the other wall it'll be half inch all the way around. We'll see. So I have to order all that drywall and then install it and then make it paint ready, so mud and tape on one section, which will be fun. That's been going on for a while now, that construction project. Everybody's on, on edge about it, except for me. But, uh, you know, in the contracting world, uh, most people think, well, how you get things done is you crack a whip. You know, tell people that these arbitrary timelines. So, I wish I could stay and chat longer. I have um, a job right now on one of my hoists from uh, Toyota, the car company. I'm doing one of their recalls here. Uh, so, I gotta get back to that. Um, I started in the rust proofing business at Volvo Subaru Suzuki when I was 16 years old. And here I am, you know, 21 years later. And uh, we're the only rust check shop in town. I'm the only certified rust check technician in town. And if I don't know the guy who's doing it, uh, we probably train the guy who's doing it in the area and everybody kind of knows what's what in this town about rust proofing and it's a big important problem because we throw um, the corrosive road salt on the roads and it, it that plus the, the cold weather really starts corroding new vehicles quickly so you gotta put something on there I'm not trying to hard sell you on my product but you gotta put something on there So. This is not a commercial for Rust Check. But I gotta get back to it. We're at um, 10 after 9 now. Banana, coffee, gonna go to the bathroom and get started. It's very sweaty, I gotta wear a Tyvek suit. Very messy, that's why they don't do it in house. Very messy. One of the reasons I'm making this partition wall in the shop. Too messy, almost. I hope that you guys are having a day. Having a good day. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. Listening to a copyright free, royalty free rap during this YouTube era of uh, whatever you want to call it. They're a little, uh, they're a little weird. These guys at, at YouTube and in Google. Alright guys, um, oh, also, yeah, I'm not a big, you know, I've never put any weight into, or, in, or any, um, what do you call that, I've never put any trust in the Flat Earth Society, we don't have time for a meeting of the Flat Earth Society, Obama is famously saying, uh, quoted as saying, and uh, I don't really care, I don't know anybody at the Flat Earth Society, don't really care about anybody there. I uh, don't know anybody there. So, yesterday on their Twitter account, they credited me for correcting Elon Musk. He had a tweet about Occupy Mars, but it's really a blood moon in, in the photo. 
I get that that was a play on something that Donald Trump had said that we have to go to Mars and the moon is a part of Mars. And maybe Elon Musk in his um, billionaire eccentric Diet Coke drinking mind thought that it was funny to make Mars and the moon kind of the same thing as a tip to a tip to humor, a sarcastic humor to the president of his country. And uh, anyway, I've been around the block or two when it comes to trolling, so uh, believe me, I know how to get under people's skin if I want to, and I, I was not even trying, let's just put it that way. And for the last two days, um, I've had my phone just constantly going off in notifications because the Flat Earth Society has uh, retweeted or tweeted back to Elon Musk, basically, and said credit to AdamJosh.com. I'll tell you what, guys. My tweets have made international news before, so this is not that big of a deal to me. I've been on Twitter since uh, 2010. So people have referenced my tweets in international news. Do you think that... I'm really losing sleep over this. I actually have notifications off on my phone, so I don't care. <sighs> Ugh, all right, I gotta get back to it. Yeah, so I, I don't put any weight behind, or any clout, whatever you wanna call it, respect into the Flat Earth Society. I don't know anybody there, but uh, you know, if them tweeting me and crediting me has, has given anybody uh, a pause, for you to stand back and say, this is it. Out of the field, man. Loot the entire time. You know, whatever, man. I started working when I was 16. Everything I have, I've worked for. And, uh, nobody has handed me, nobody's given me a, a handout. So, you know, I hear that people get these things. But I, I've never been able to have one. So, <clears throat> you guys take care of yourself. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. Toodaloo!